Hi guys and welcome to Cookers Allotment Devon. It's time for the uh, long awaited June tour. Okay, first on the menu, parsnips. Having an absolute mare trying to germinate parsnips this year. I've done two sowings and nothing. So, uh, if anyone's got any tips for uh, growing parsnips, starting parsnips last year, they're really good. This year, I just cannot get them to germinate. So, uh, if you've got any tips, please, guys, put them in the comments below. Okay, then uh, this monstrosity is my new sort of cage that I've put over my brassicas and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you what's inside but um, yeah it's not very good at all but uh, there we've got a kohlrabi and um, that's bigger than a sort of tennis ball so that's a really good size there's quite a few of those in there so um, I, put, I built this cage over the top so that I could protect it from the the birds and the parakeets. Got a lot of parakeets around here at the moment. But um, yeah, these are my summer onions. So, but I'm thinking I have to put a door in this somewhere down here so I can actually get in, or some way that this lifts up. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to get in to to pick anything or do any weeding. So that's the uh, plan. Sweet corn, it's doing really well. <clears throat> They're uh, some of them are about a foot tall. Uh, others a little bit smaller and then there's one over the back there that's probably about a foot and a half so the sweet corn's doing really well and out of the ones I planted I think I've got so you can hear the parakeets there look out of the ones I planted I think I've got about 48 so we should have some good sweet corn this year so that's the sweet corn bed and like I say all the brassicas are in there hopefully avoiding a brassica massacre this year okay then over to the uh, Bellotti or Bellotti beans, they're doing really well, climbing all up the poles as they should do. There's a few that have been blown off, but they'll they should find their way back up. And uh, now the, now I've started filming, the sun's coming out, so that's good as well. Okay, if you remember back, we sowed some peas and gutters, and then we planted them out here. They're doing really well. As you can see, they're the sort of same height as that compost bin, so they're getting up to about a meter, just over a meter tall now. And there's lots of uh, lots of flowers appearing on them, so I'm kind of excited and hopeful that I'm going to get a few peas this year. But you never know. The courgette and pumpkin bed doing really well, and um, I've got a few early courgettes. So again, decent sort of size. So I'm probably going to use those. As uh, You've already seen my uh, garlic and onion reveal. I'm actually doing a cooking show on Sunday. We're doing four over the summer. And it's called Plot to Plate. It's on a channel called sw1tv.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. And um, it's called Plot to Plate. And I said, like I said, we're doing four shows over the summer. The first show this weekend we're filming on Sunday and it's going to be a fish dish. So obviously the fish hasn't come from the allotment but everything else that I'll be cooking I'll literally pick that morning and we're going to cook it. So uh, okay I'll take you over to the potatoes. Okay the potatoes are doing really really well. You would have seen in the potato reveal that uh, I did a, an emptying out of one of the containers of the early salad potatoes. And I've done another one or two since. They were really good eating. There was lots of potatoes in there. This is all my main crop now. And as you can see, they're doing really well. Um, there's one bucket that's ready to be sort of harvested soon. And this is be the next one that I'm doing. And these were Jester, second earlies. But as you can see, it's all died back. The frost got to them again as well. And 
various things have been picking at it so I want to get rid of it before the blight sets in but if we have a quick dig down there you can see straight away that there's lots of potatoes in there already just a quick quick scratch at the soil you can see them and uh, yeah they're a good size so quite excited to see what's in that one and what I've been doing is as I've been taking the potatoes out of the buckets I've been sowing in more crops with carrots in there uh, Japanese muli and I put some radish in that one you can see they're already coming up uh, these are my onions that will be stored for the winter so uh, should be should have plenty of onions to see me through more potato plants at the bottom here they do really well in the containers it's it's definitely the way forward okay and I'll bring you around this is where this is the table that I've built I'm gonna be doing the uh, cooking show from here we'll be stood behind here doing the cooking so that'll be the backdrop so it's quite a nice sort of backdrop for a cooking show and um, what we've got going on here we've got uh, another little gunner plant there the main gunner is there and it's got to be seven foot tall now it's really big and this the biggest leaf here this one here is well it's huge it's probably a meter and a half pushing two meters across it's really really big you can only just see the shed uh, sorry the shed the greenhouse the other side of it you know that greenhouse is nine foot tall so there we go on that uh, bring you around to the Jerusalem artichokes doing really well they're uh, about a meter and a half pushing two meters tall then we've got red onions the carrot bed doing really good Beetroot, again doing really really good, lettuce and boracol. So there we go and I'll finish on this bit here, this section with my globe artichoke which has many many flowers on. And these things are huge. And there's probably about 20 on there. Easy, all the way around. Loads of them. Okay, strawberries. Strawberries are doing really well. Unfortunately, they never make it home. They always get eaten down here on the plot. As you can see, there's some lovely strawberries in there. Well, I haven't netted them this year, and they seem to be surviving from the birds. But... Uh, I'll probably be eating those words later and not strawberries because they'll probably come along tonight and eat the lot. But hey ho. Okay, the tomato greenhouse. I've got all my tomatoes in there now. They're all staked. Uh, I tend not to put the tomato plants straight into the grow bags. I tend to, as I keep potting them on, uh, then just cut the bottoms off the pots. So as you can see, and then I just sort of sit them into the grow bag. Makes it easier to water around the bottom of the pot and protecting obviously the stem of the tomato plant. I've got a couple of uh, melon plants there and uh, cucumbers here. And exciting, exciting, exciting news. We have our first cucumber. And there he is. That variety is Chinese slangen. So there you go, that's the tomato plants. Wildflower bed. These are the, if you remember back in February, you could sort of see the tires now, you can't see them at all. This is all wildflower seed that I uh, sowed, doing all really well. Got some white alliums that are growing, and um, there's some sunflowers there, and there's an actual flower already on this sunflower underneath the banana plant there. So that's all good. The uh, banana tree is doing really well. So it's got nearly, I think there's a fifth leaf coming up on it now, so that's doing really well. The African Keyhole Garden, as you saw, we pulled all the onions out. This is where my leeks are going to be going. Like I said, there's still a few onions left in. 
which I'll be using this Sunday for the cooking and there's a bit of garlic left in as well. Now, as you remember from the video, I had a lot of onions, nearly 60 onions, all different sizes. So these are gonna sort of spend the next uh, seven to 10 days drying out here. Uh, oh, I wish I could grow that. And then uh, more onions here, as you can see there. They are a decent size. I've eaten some already as well, and they're absolutely delicious. Lots of garlic. I think it's the best I've ever done for garlic. And more onions there. Okay, finally then, I'll just take you into what we're now calling the conservatory. Conservatory, or as they say in America, conservatory. This is where my grapevine is growing. Um, there's still a few flowers on this one. You can see they're just there, and if you tap them, they're just sort of falling off. But I think all the grapes have been pollinated and they're really starting to put some weight on now, you can see it. I think they do this for about two months now. They put the weight on and then the colour change or whatever is in the last sort of bit of their growing. But like I said, this is the first year I've ever grown grapes. So if anyone's got any good tips, then uh, put them in the comments section below. Do I need to take some of these the foliage off so that the sun gets to the grapes? Who knows? So if you could... Uh, Put in the comments section if you know anything about grapes, but you see those ones, those are getting really big, look. So yeah, hopefully great things coming from the grapevine. So there you go. That's my shed. So there you go guys. Um, thank you for watching. And I uh, hope it hasn't been uh, too much of a boring tour for you guys. I'm um, expecting great things this summer. Everything seems to be growing really well. We've had some brilliant weather. We've had lots of rain and now we've got a long period of sunshine. So um, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon on Cookies Allotment, Devon.